Welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and other crafts podcast. This is episode 31 and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica and she's my daughter-in-law and I'm her mother-in-law. So, um... <laughs> I was looking at myself again. <laughs> so, we are um, so happy you're here. If you are returning, we appreciate you coming back um, to see what we have to say about our crafts and... If you are new, we hope you stick around and you like what you see. And what did I say last time? I think I said last time that we were located in Delaware. <laughs> What's today's date? Today is Sunday, March 14th. 14th. Yep. Mm-hmm. Here we go. So we have, um, I just blanked. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to talk about the knit along. I think let's, I was, that's what I was going to say. We okay. have some things to talk about, but we'll save that for after the content. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So let's start with our all the fun stuff that most of you are probably here for. And um, you go ahead and start. Okay. I have like so many finished objects. But then I told her like what, 40 minutes ago? I was like, mm-hmm. I've, this is crazy, but I feel like I've done no knitting. And I said, that is crazy. <laughs> I said it before. I, I think I said, what? That's yeah. crazy. Okay, anyway, so my right feather. It's all finished. It is finished and blocked. I had, okay, so I was like there in the body. So mm-hmm. I had like two inches left. So, I mean, there's not much to talk about. But anyways, it took a year just about to finish this. Did you look up the day you cast it off? I could. I forget the exact date, but it was March of last year. Oh, so was March it March? of this year. Oh, okay. I finished this March. No, I finished this February 28th. This was my February sweater finish. Oh, okay. Yeah. I capped it off February 28th. That's right, because so. that was your goal. Yeah. yeah. You made that, like, last minute. You're like, I'm going to finish this before the end of the month. Yeah, I decided mm-hmm. I needed a sweater finished every month. But anyway, so the yarns, this, the green, the main color, is, what's it called? Socks. Socks yeah. yeah. Coops, by Coops Knit mm-hmm. in the Adventure. Coop Knits. Right? Yeah. Coops Knit. No. Coop, Coop Knits. Knits. Socks, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's that color. It's uh-huh. a venturine or something like that. Mm-hmm. All the notes will be in the description, description box, box below. That's what I'm supposed to say in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> we always forget that. And then I'm like, I don't know what my yarn color is. So it'll be down there. But anyways, and then this brown color is um, Amy of Noble Character Crafts in the woodsy colorway. Wilderness? Wilderness? Something. I, I haven't looked at that See, one a in lot a while. See, a lot of yards have similar colorways. I think the Patton's Croy was woodsy. Yeah, that's what I think, too. So this one's probably wilderness. Wilderness, but I mean, think. like we already said, it will be Notes below. Notes will be below. And if you can't find the uh, correct information, just you can always email us or leave a comment. We'd be happy to help you get that. <laughs> so it is finished, and I was going to wear it, but it fits. But it does not fit at the moment. So, <laughs> but... Yeah, so that's my first finished she object. She wore it already. I did she wear it once. She took a trip to the local yarn store. Our local yarn yes. store is yarn, uh, the Yarn Maven in Smyrna, Delaware. And she wore it there. Yes. <laughs> but did not wear it today because I didn't want to wear it with leggings. And then I'll do the smaller objects first. I finished two hats. Okay, so the Bright Feather was my Make 9 of 2020 mm-hmm. that I did not finish. These hats are the sock head, sock hat, or? I think it's just called the sock head hat. I swear hey, I read uh, somewhere. M- McClure? I don't know what the first name is, but the, I think the, her last name is McClure. But anyways, these are both of them. This one's Mason's, mm-hmm. and it is. Wait, fresh. wait, wait. You showed some of this last no. time. No? Oh. No. Oh, never nope. mind. <laughs> None of it is shown. <laughs> Hold on, I need them in my bag. I didn't talk about what I was wearing. Oh. This is, my, this is my Sunset Highway by Caitlin Hunter of Boylan Knit Works. Is that what it is? Something and like um, I use two different colors of willow tree yarn. This speckle and then this purpley grape color. Like orchid is the purple one. Yes. And, and then vintage long. blooms yeah. or something. Something like that. Yeah. And then this color here is Queen City yarn. I think it was like a tea name or a coffee name. I don't remember. And, I think um, it was a coffee name. All the information will be below. And then this baby Dale Garn Ool or something like that in like a 
off-white. I don't know the exact color. I think it was a number. That's why I can't remember the name. But anyway, so that's what I'm wearing. Back to finished objects. <laughs> anyway, so you haven't seen either of these hats, but this one's Mason's. He's been wearing it, like, all the time. He yes. looks like a little skater he boy. He so cute in it, too. <laughs> we'll have to put a picture of him yeah, in it. Yeah, we'll pop He's been wearing it everywhere we go because he needs a hat still. But anyway, so he looks like a little skater boy in it. Oh, he but does. the yarn is... And then I um, sing that Avril, Avril Lavigne song from yeah, back in the day. <laughs> I think it's called Skater Boy I with guess. like an actual eight in it. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so the yarn is Willow Tree yarn and it is Seafair. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I love that color. I really like it too. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect with the yarn. And then. Look at it though. It just started so spiraling. Funny. And then she was just like, it might change based on your gauge. It did not. Yeah, it didn't change. Because I've knit this spiraling. hat before and it spiraled down here, but then it um, pulled um, as I went up. Yeah, just stocking that, stocking it. So up. this one is the actually teen size. I forget what size number that is, but it it says teen on it. Well, so. Mason has a rather large head. <laughs> he does. It does fit <laughs> me too, though. Yeah. And Holden, Holden could wear it. Like mm -hmm. I had him try it on because mm -hmm. I don't wear hats, and I was like, "Would you wear okay, this?" Okay, so not? if you're new, Holden and her husband, my oldest son, um, and Mason is their two year old son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's two. He's wearing. A teen hat. And it fits him, like, perfectly, too. It's so cute. Oh, there's also pictures of Paisley in it. I'll have to send you those, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Oh, I posted them on my Instagram. My Instagram. Which is down below, too. Yes. And then, <laughs> this one I did first, actually. This one is for Holden. And I haven't even shown you this yarn, but I casted it on. And I knit the large size for him. And the yarn is Willow Cottage yarn. And this is a new dyer to me, so, and I really like it. And it's the first time I used BFL mm -hmm. and nylon. I love it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so. Show the yeah. Did you wash this? No. Oh. <laughs> Mason got a hold of it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this is the yarn that I have left. But mm -hmm. it's so pretty. Like, I wish I had a picture of the skein. It was <laughs> so pretty. But, like, I don't know. There's something about this, like, yeah, it's so pretty. And then, like, the way it looked. It's like one of my favorite yarns. Holden right looks cute in his hat too, yeah. but not as cute as Mason. <laughs> <laughs> and the colorway is Deku, which is an anime um, character from My Hero Academia. So it's a really good anime. Mm -hmm. This is like one that we finished, I think, last year. Well, we not even finished with it. You so. finished the anime. Not I finished the anime. You knit that hat in like three days or yeah, something. Yeah, I know. Crazy I knit like both that. those hats. Last week, and this is okay. This is why I said I feel like I have done no knitting this week. Pretty much all the knitting I've done was last week. Yeah, because we record every two weeks. So yeah. Okay. Anyways, so I finished the whole sweater. <laughs> so I made a magnolia. I forget the designer's name, but I did it without the lace pattern. So I've already knit one of these. Mm -hmm. But so it's that was just a couple of episodes ago she showed that. It's just so pretty, though. It looks really patchworky or like scrappy, but I really like it. So you have you have to sell the yarn. Yeah, the yarn was actually um. I'll hold it. Scrap, not scraps. It was um the leftover yarn from my poof tee that I made last year, and it is Karen Latte Cakes in the Kissy Kissy colorway and Blackberry. Yes, two different colorways. Yeah, and I just um. Helical, Helical striped. Mm -hmm. um, but so there's two knots in one knot in each ball. Yeah, so is. the collar is just one color, and then the cuffs are just the another one. Bottoms one color, and then the other cuffs one color. But like on this sleeve, this sleeve was hard to do. I ran out of yarn of one cake like halfway through, and I was worried that I didn't have enough yarn at all. So. It was like, I had like a 250 grams and I needed 250 grams to make yeah. this one. You said you just had a very little bit left. Yeah. So I don't even have it. Mm -hmm. So like it wasn't even worth saving it at all. It was so little. But yeah, so I knit a whole sweater. <laughs> and so my March sweater is done. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you oh you have a sweater a month plan? Yeah. Oh. That's what I just said. With the bright feather. You just, oh. I just said it. <laughs> And I promise. <laughs> anyway, so the last one I have 
Okay, so that Magnolia was also on my third Make 9, which was, like, kind of my scrappy Make 9. Not really scrappy, but it was, like, the la like more stuff that I just decided I wanted. It after. was made after your first two Make 9s, your sock Make 9 and your regular Make 9. And then I was like, I want Because she was like, more. but I want to knit all these things, too. So she just put together a third one. <laughs> So the hat, the hat was also part of that make nine. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so part of my sock make nine, which is the first one I finished, are these socks, and they are called like the Lume mm -hmm. or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, it's out of the fifty-two sock, fifty-two weeks or socks, mm -hmm. something like that. Whatever that book's I've, called. I've been. When I've been editing here recently, I've been taking the time to put the name of the pattern and the pattern designer across the screen. So it should be up there. <laughs> okay, anyway, the last time I showed it, I was here on the first sock. So I finished the sock, and then I knit the whole other sock. So, and it's really hard to see the pattern because I haven't blocked them yet. But I finished this right before we came up to record. She report, just so. literally finished the second one. Mm -hmm. But I like them. It's, um... Sorry. What? <laughs> The yarn is um, Knit Picks Hawthorne in the silver tone colorway, I think. So, and I mean, I just kept, I also messed up. I didn't realize it was a toe up sock, and I don't knit toe up. Mm -mm, I don't either. I knit it cuff down. Mm -hmm. So, I did not do the pattern at the toe. Oh, okay. Because I didn't want to try to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So, I just did it at the cuff, and um, I flipped it. So I flipped the... So, because it would be going in the opposite direction if you knit it toe up. So you flipped it so it was going the right direction, even though you were knitting from the top down. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to see it. It's like a garter. Garter lace. Pattern. Yeah, it's just a garter so lace pattern. does... Is... In the book, is the pattern only on the, the leg? Does and it go down the front? No. It's just on the leg, and then there's at a little the section on oh, the okay. toe, too. At the toe. All right. Okay. It's really cute, though. Wait, it's so really how many stitches cute. did you cast on? 64. And you knit a stockinette heel flap. Yeah, it's just stockinette heel flap and a wedge toe. Mm -hmm. So, And they are for my mom's cousin, I think. I think that's the one with the size 8 foot. Okay. Whoever has a size 8 foot, this is for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, my mom will send them to the right person, so it's okay. But that's all my finished objects. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have one finished object. And it is the first finish from my Make 9 2021. Yay! And they are my the Chelsea Mittens, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. And I don't remember how much I had done in the last episode. I think I had, had one, one whole, whole one done without the thumb. And then maybe the start of the second one. I don't I actually... Think you had a good portion of the second one oh, okay. done, didn't you? I don't know. I don't remember. I think so. I don't I know. could be wrong. I mean, you can look at last episode. If you're really interested. Um, but I remember um, that I did talk about it. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the thumbs. If I was going to close them or leave them open. And I decided to leave them open. And I don't regret it at all. Because if I'm outside and my thumbs start to get cold, I can do this. <laughs> Or I could just pull them up a little bit <laughs> do that. And I might still get a little chilly, but that's okay. So I think they're really pretty. And I remember in the last video, I talked about how I got to towards the end and my numbers were off and I took such great notes and I didn't know what I did wrong. I figured it out. Figured it out when no I wasn't I didn't have a lot done because I figured it out after we reported oh, yeah. when I got into the lace right. pattern yeah so the first time I read the lace chart I ended up leaving off two stitches which m means that this lace pattern isn't actually as accurate as it could be <laughs> so I mean it looks the same as the picture but it's, I guess it's slimmer because I'm missing two stitches. So I just went ahead and did the same exact thing on this side. So they do match each other. They're just not perfect to the pattern. And I haven't blocked them yet. So just that, I think that lace will open up a little more once I block them. But let me tell you about the yarn. This is what I have left. It's soft. Yeah, it is very soft. It's 41 grams left. And it is Candy Shop Yarns 
liquid candy mystery confection. It's the Tweed Decay Base. So there we go. And I used the needle called for in the pattern, which is a US 6, which is a four millimeter, right? Yep, US 6 four millimeter needle. And they actually are a little big on my hand, and I don't have tiny hands. Um, so I'm kind of glad that they're two stitches too small. And I don't actually really want to block them because I don't want them to grow too much. <laughs> so, and I, the project was kept in, in my Mountain State Stitches bag that I've had for a couple years. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I have a sock half of this. Oh, yeah. So, and then I also have a half object, which is currently being housed in another Mountain State Stitches bag. I've had this one for a couple years too. But I finished one of, uh, sorry, Daphne, <laughs> one of my husband's socks, which are going to be too big for this sock blocker, but that's okay. You have to use one of my blue ones. But I, I was here the last time I showed them, and so I completed it. And I didn't use a contrasting color on the heel. Um, I don't hate it. It, you know, this section's a little bit longer, but I really don't think you can tell that much. So I cast on, this is the, will you hold it real quick? Mm -hmm. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> this is the Regia, or actually, I went to the local, local, local yarn store recently too, and we were talking about this, and I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I say Regia, but it's Regia. I think that's how she said it. Um... Six ply cruise color, and so that's the DK weight. So I um, cast it on 56 stitches and used a US 3 um, to knit the socks. And I did a rib pattern. What was it? So to make sure that the it was centered on the top of the foot when I got to this part, I after I got past the ribbing, which is 12 rows of knit two, purl two, I switched to a different rib pattern, which was purl one, knit five, purl one. So, so it's centered on the top of the foot, but that's all I did. And then the toe is the umbrella toe pattern by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And this is where I am on the second song. So. Um, it's funny, I separated the yarn so I could knit them two at a time and then just decided to knit one at a time. But that's what I was feeling like <laughs> at the moment. So what else do you, how many more do you have? I have two whips, that's it. And okay. one of them looks like your sock. I have, <laughs> I have three knitting and one cross stitch. So should I go again? Yeah. Okay. So here's one that I showed last time. This is my Stolen Minutes project bag and in it I have this sock. Just drop stuff on the floor. So up here is where I was the last time I showed it. I just started it and I finished the gusset decreases and then I put it down. So the variegated yarn is Willow Tree yarn in the lollipop colorway. And I think I have the tag actually in here. Yep, Willow Tree yarn, lollipop. It's the classy base, 80-20. And then the white here is Regia. You like how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Regia um, glitter something or glitz. Something. I think glitter. Okay, yeah. Sure. I don't have the tag for this one, so I don't have the number, but I think I have it in my notes, so it should be below. And I plan to, so I cast on 64 stitches, and I think I realized, 
last video that I'd cast on with a US 1 2.25 millimeter and I meant to cast on with a US one and a half, which is a 2.5 millimeter. So when I finished knitting the cuff, I did switch to a US one and a half and continue to knit the rest that way. Um, and I do plan on knitting the toe in the lollipop yarn. So that's where I am. That's just the first one. <laughs> I did start a second sock, but not the second sock of anything, just another sock. But anyway, so mine, Mine's you, less than yours. You started the second pair of socks, but it's the first sock. Of yes. The, okay. The next pair of socks. So uh -huh. this is all I have. <laughs> and it is um, out of my 52 weeks of socks book also. So I don't remember the name of this one. Is it on your uh, sock making iron? Yes. Okay. It is the lacy one. I think it's in the bottom right corner. I think it's that one. <laughs> But anyway, so this is the yarn, and it is also Knit Picks Hawthorne, but I don't have the tag, though? the tag of this one. I don't know where it went. It was in here, but now it's not, and I don't remember the color of it. It's like cosmic something, but, hmm. so I mean, I don't have much to say about it yet. I have like five rows done, mm -hmm. so. Well, and you don't remember the name of the pattern either? No. Okay, well, I'll get the information, and it'll go across the Yeah, screen. I have no information for this right now. I wasn't ready to talk about that one. So oh, sorry. Can't tell. No, I just oh. meant like. I didn't have it prepared. Oh, I was going to oh, work gotcha. on it more. You brought it up to talk about it. You just didn't have all the information. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to look at it before I actually came up here. So that's my sock. <laughs> so this is... Actually, I don't remember. Oh, Stitching Plaza bag. I've had this one for a couple years, too. And in it is a new sock whip. <laughs> I have a bag from them. Yeah, I, I bought it for no you. Idea where it is. One year for Christmas. So yeah. with the sea, sea, sea animals. Yeah, I don't know where that is right now. <laughs> so this is the Anastasia colorway, Anastasia colorway sweet tea yarns by Molly Klein, and I might have the tag in the bag. I mean, I should. Yep, right here, sweet tea. And this is all I have. Of this pattern. So this is a pattern pattern that I wrote up um, and I'm trying to work it out. So I had already knit like a couple more inches of this sock and had to rip it all the way back and start over because when I was writing the pattern up the way I thought it was going to work out in my head wasn't the way it was working out and so then I had to flip some things around and now I'm reworking it but anyway that's fun <laughs> if I get it figured out I would like to just offer it I mean offer it to you guys as a free pattern if anyone was was would be interested but first I have to work out all the kinks so um I cast on 64 stitches on a US one and a half and I knit one by one rib. Looks like twisted rib. <laughs> I have notes. I just don't remember exactly off the top of my head. Because I spent last weekend working on that sock and I only worked on it Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so that's it for that one. Do you want me to do one more? Because I have two more. Sure. Is that your last one? Yep. Okay. That's all I have. And I have a, another new cast on. It's a sweater cast on. So this is on my Make 9. And it is called the Shores Cardigan by Ashley Lillis Designs. Let me make sure that that's... Yes, AshleyLillis.com. It's a free pattern on her website. And I am knitting this holding three, three strands. And I just split for the sleeves. But my daughter loves it. My four-year-old daughter. She, she asked for it. Yeah, she was like, oh, is that for me? And I was like, no, it's not. It's for me. She said, will you knit me one? So I'm going to figure that out and do it for her. But um, oh, will you hold Watch it? if you wear it. She's going to want to wear hers at the same time. <laughs> knit it the same. Yeah. So I am holding a strand of this. 
which I believe is Pound of Love. Yeah. And... That's a worst of weight, isn't it? Yes. And here's the tag right here, actually, mm -hmm. in my bag. So, yeah, Lion Brand Yarns, Pound of Love, in the black. Is that upside down? No, it's not. Okay. And with two of these at different points. So I think I'm using this one. Yeah. So that's actually not the one I'm using. <laughs> Here's the one I'm using. Oh my. So I'm holding three strands and the two colorful ones I bought to make a blanket out of and then decided to use them in the sweater which is always fun to do, but it's Lion Brand um, Mandala, right? Mm -hmm. Mandala, yep. Yeah. And then the colorway is Sirens. So, and it's gonna be fun. So it'll continue oh. to stripe with other colors. Yeah, they're all It's really squishy. Well, the, the Mandala is real soft. Not, it, the Pound of Love isn't as soft, but, so I am, Knitting these on a US 13. I did not do a gauge swatch. The US 13, I believe, is what the pattern calls for. Um, and I am knitting the third size, which is a 45 inch bust, I think. Now, let me look. <laughs> Just so I'm accurate, accurate in my information. Yeah, so it this sweater comes in four sizes. Um, and I'm knitting the third, which is 45 inches. The fourth size is a 48 inch. And it's gonna be kind of roomy through the arms and stuff. And you know I don't like roomy arms. I've said that before. I said that's a perfect booty sleeve sweater. <laughs> yeah. But I think I'm gonna like it anyway, because I'm just knitting this to wear around the house in the winter, so it'll be fine. But um, but I'm excited about it. Okay, my last one is my cousin's cardigan, which is the Fisherman's Rib cardigan that I found on webs. So, and I didn't do a whole lot. So, I was there. And like I said, I am modifying this pattern. So, I'm not even doing Fisherman's Rib. I'm doing Broken Rib. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. So, I was there. And I'm just in the Broken Rib section right now. And it's going to stripe eventually. I just am trying to finish this ball. So I have this much left. It's all squished. But I'm using um, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. So this is the color I'm on right now. I don't think I how to say that. Persimmon Heather. Yeah. There you go. And then I'm going to stripe this blue which is Marina. And then the last color I have is this color and it is almond. So it's slowly getting there. I'm not in a rush to finish this one at all. So that's it. I haven't done much with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, at this rate, I mean, your cousin lives in Alabama. Yeah. He won't need that sweater until I know. <laughs> months I know. and months. So I'll get it done. Cause I'm sure it's warming up down there. I mean, it's the, 100% wool, so it's real warm. So mm. it'll get done eventually. All right, so my last whip is out of this cross stitch magazine. Can you see that? Um, it's new. I just I have a digital subscription and I just got, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's spring 2021 cross stitch favorites, and in it. There is a section with 35 birthday charts, like card size, tag size, that that kind. Um, so I am going to see my sister-in-law this um, upcoming Friday, and I thought it would just be fun to make her a little gift tag because I missed her birthday in February. So I don't have a ton done. And it, there's not a picture in the magazine, there's only a chart. So I can't show you what the finish is gonna look like. And I won't have it for the next video, but I will take a picture and be able to insert it, at least in the beginning montage. I'll probably put it on Instagram too. Um, but this is what I have so far. Oh, can you see that? 
So I have the happy birthday, one balloon without its string, and one side of the border. <laughs> but I am knitting, I'm knitting. I'm stitching this on um, Ada. I believe it's 16 count, and it was like an off, oh, really can't see that. It was an off-white to begin with, and then I lightly coffee tea dyed it. There's no modeling, because I didn't bake it. I just dunked it. <laughs> and so it just, um, it made it warmer than it was. And I am using sulky threads. So I'll show you which ones I plan to use in this one. to make like three of the birthday tags just for her or? no no oh, just okay. one for her but three three total so I have extra colors in the bag so these are the th sulky threads ah here why don't you just give me some okay. you hold some you can hold the white the gray <laughs> get the cool colors you know <laughs> so and there they are that I'm gonna that will be in that birthday tag and then I have plans to um let me, no, I'm just throwing it on the ground. So then I have plans to back it with like some colorful cardstock or something. And I have the flat paper magnets with the sticky back. And I'm going to attach the cardstock paper to that. And then that way she can use the tag and to put it on her refrigerator or filing cabinet or something. Or she doesn't have to put it anywhere if she doesn't want to. But if she does want to, she can. So that's the goal for that. But I think that's it. That's I just have my purchases. That's it. Oh, I only yeah. have two things. Okay. So, anyways, so I was I think I said it last time or the time before. Whenever I finished holding socks that I made them out of the woodsy colorway, I realized that I accidentally used the yarn that I was going to use to make a different sweater. It was mm -hmm. a colorwork sweater. It's called the Twig by Joko Odomoto. Mm -hmm. That's on your make nine, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's on my make nine. So I had to go and get. A replacement color for that so this is the replacement color and it is Queensland collection United and I forget the name of this one it is rosewood it's this colorway so this is gonna be the color work of that sweater and the original the um, main color is the same brand in the denim color I couldn't find it in my bins but I didn't oh, look so okay. hard it's probably somewhere like towards the bottom of one of them so I couldn't I didn't grab it. But anyway, so it's just like denim, like jean denim. So this is the contrast color. But it's really pretty, and I'm super excited to cast it on. But I told myself I can't cast it on until I finish my cousin's sweater. Because I feel like that bag's like the best bag. Hold on. I'll show you the bag. Then... Oh, you're not going to cast it on until you finish? Yes. Oh, okay. Because uh, I feel like it'd be well, best that's in it. this sweater. Mm -hmm. And, that's and I need to, to get this sweater. done. Mm -hmm. But... I want it in that bag. Uh -huh. And then the other thing I bought was socks, yeah, coop knits. This is a tag I was looking at when I was talking to my bright mother. <laughs> but this is in the color... What the... Oh, I never sorry. know how to say their names, apparently. Don't even... Lep Lepidolite? I'm not sure about that one either. But I think all the names of the those socks, yeah, are like... Uh, Stones, rocks, stones. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, so it's just color. It's like a really pale pink. But anyway, so I bought this one because I really liked her um, lollipop, lollipop yarn with the... White. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I bought this to use for like the same idea. But then I was like, pair these together. And I know this is red in it, but... Was, was that the one that you originally planned to pair? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> like, I went to go try to find something to pair with this, because there's 34 grams of this left mm -hmm. from the hat, so. I think that'll I, look good, because this isn't a pink pink, this is a yeah. peachy pink, yeah. and I think it'll go good. So, mm -hmm. I really want to cast this on, but I also told myself I can't cast on any more socks until I finish the three pairs of socks I have on my needles, which was the one pair that I finished. The other pair that I just showed you that just got casted on, and then my impossibility socks that were on the make I thought you were ripping those out. 
No, I ripped out um, Bella Vista. Oh, well, okay. Wait, I meant to bring up that yarn, actually, to say I ripped it out. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, it was the bright pink and, like, orangey yarn that mm -hmm. I casted on a while ago. But, I don't know, the that sock just did not fit my foot, and I did not like it. Like, I didn't like what it was doing to the pattern. It fit my foot, but it, the pattern then got distorted. So, I was like, nope, we're done. Mm -hmm. So, I want to cast these on so bad. <laughs> Well, finish your um, great aunt socks, right? It, that's who it did. Your mom's yeah. aunt, your great aunt. Um, <laughs> so. And then you can cast them on. No, because I already said I have to finish the uh, uh, socks, too. Oh, yeah. They've been on the needles for so long. Like, they should not be on the needles. And I really want them, so... You might as well finish them. I really want the sock, like, yarn. I don't know. I, just, I guess I don't really care for the pattern. So I might just stop the pattern and knit the, he the um, foot vanilla instead well um i was just recently watching um actually this will be a good segue into what i purchased so i was just recently watching um night owl Fi fibers podcast um which if you don't watch it you should watch it those ladies are great and um but brenda was saying that, or she had just recently knit a pair of socks that had the pattern on the leg and then just vanilla down the foot. Well, it's like one of the, it's like a section. Like it's in the very center of the sock. So it's like if I stop it, it's going to look a little weird. Hmm. Well, you could, um, where is it now? It's just on the leg though? Yeah, it's just on the leg. Well, like you I could mean, do, uh, have you done the heel? I started the heel. Oh. I'm like four rows into the heel. Well, when you get down the heel and you do the turn and you, you pick up your stitches, when you knit across the top of your foot, you could just do like a pearl row or something to like, I don't know what kind of pattern it is. It's but... a cable pattern. It's a ribbed cable. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't know. Like, I mean, if it was like a lace thing, that'd be a little yeah, different. Yeah, because you could just kind cable... of like block it in and stop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a cable, so it's like, you can't really just stop yeah. a cable like that. But, I mean, then you just stop a cable at the toe, so it's like... Yeah, you could, I mean, there's no law I saying know. you can't stop I'm a cable. Like, but then I'm like, I don't <laughs> like them like that, so uh, I'm like, I don't know. I don't yeah. think I won't like it like gotcha. that, because I just want the sock for the yarn. I think you'll be fine with it. <laughs> I just need to but. make a decision and finish my socks. So... Before this last episode of Night Owl Fibers, a couple episodes ago, um, they talked about this book, and the the way they talked about it really made me want it, so I bought it, and I I'm I'm happy I'm happy with the purchase, but I kept forgetting to show it, so I didn't buy this recently. It was probably a month or two ago. I feel like it was closer to Christmas, wasn't it? Maybe. Maybe it, was. it was, maybe it was. I don't I know. Could be wrong. But I it's like Knit it Happy with Self Striping Yarn uh, by Stephanie Lotvin, the creator of Tully Bean Knits. And I'm sure all of you have seen it already, but just in case you haven't. And um, I think I would like to knit this sweater. I like the sleeves. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, think, I think it looks fun. I don't think I'd wear it, but I like it. Um, <laughs> And uh, but I don't have yarn for it, so oh. I can't knit it anytime soon because I'm I gotta knit some of the sweater quantities I have. But there are other things in it I like too. But just to show you that one. Um, and so that's it. That's all you have. Yeah. All right. That's, that's all, all I have. Sure. So thank you all for your comments um, after the last video. Um, there are quite a few of you that want to knit along in the shawl um, or crochet along. Um, but anyway, you want us to do the shawl. Cal. Um, and we are happy to do that. So we're going to start it on the first day of spring, which is March 20th or 21st? 20, yeah, 20th or where? 21st or 22nd. That's, I don't know. Somewhere right in there. And we, it will go until the last day of spring. That one's the 21st. Okay. Of whatever month. June. Starts. <laughs> June, summer starts in June, so... Yeah. I couldn't think about it. I was like, whatever, it starts somewhere right there. When it starts, all the information will be put in the proper places and all the information will be accurate. <laughs> but we haven't worked, sat down to like figure everything out. But yeah. there, you can join us um, if you want. 
knitting your shawls or crocheting your shawls um, on Instagram and we will let you know the hashtag for that. We don't have one yet. Um, and also in our Facebook group. So if you um, follow us on Instagram and you are in our Facebook group, you can double dip both areas. <laughs> and um, it doesn't matter. If you want to knit five shawls in interim, that's great. Or crochet five shawls too. Um, we didn't discuss our whips allowed. We didn't discuss that. I figured they would be. All right, whips are allowed. I don't. I don't that's see why perfectly, not. Yeah, that's perfectly fine with yeah. me. That gives you incentive to finish. And um, yeah, I mean, I need that. <laughs> and um, so we've got a couple things coming up here. So we'll start that cow, the shawl cow, and. What else? Oh, we're going to do a March extra since we're doing the shawl cow and we are going to figure out a way, whether it's vlog style or sit down like this style, but we're going to go through all the shawls that I've knit in the past because Daphne actually hasn't finished a shawl yet. <laughs> so she's working on a shawl, I'm but she hasn't on. finished it yet, but I've knit quite a few. So we thought that might be fun to um, go through that and probably in that extra, that March extra, we'll have like the hashtag and everything and that should go up right at the start of the cal or right before it. And then after that too, you know how we upload a video every two weeks. The um, next one is going to be a couple days late because Holden... Is it going to be a couple days late? I thought we were going to do a Holden Tuesday. Yeah, but I might not be able to get it. Edited. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so we usually upload, we usually record on the weekend, and then I edit, and then we upload Monday morning. Um, Holden and Daphne and the kids are going away yes. for the weekend, and um, <laughs> that'll be fun for them. But it's a weekend we wouldn't normally record. So we're going to record on a Tuesday, and hopefully the video will go up sometime between Tuesday evening and probably Thursday morning. I don't know. Life happens. Things get busy here and I will do my best to get it edited and up in a um, timely fashion. And then April's coming and April's my birthday month and it's also local yarn store day. So look for some fun and exciting things that are going to um, take place in April. We're not gonna uh, give any of that okay. information I away know yet. What you're say. No, yeah, but um, <laughs> but just look for fun and exciting things in April. So we had, so Tracy of Grizzly Knits gave us a shout out um, last two weeks ago on the same day that we uploaded our video, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something and, like that, like yeah. right around the same time. So that was very sweet of her, huh, Tracy? <laughs> And um, so if you're not watching Grizzly Knits, you should definitely check her out. And, um, but it was so sweet. Um, several of you came here um, and left comments and subscribed from Grizzly Knits. And we're so happy you're here. And um, what else? Oh, I discovered a new podcast, which you might already know about, but it was new to me. And it is called knit all the yarns and the host of that is Mia and you should she has four I think she has five episodes now and she also has vlogs and um, I just really she does knitting and crochet and sewing but um, she's just really seems really nice and I really enjoyed her podcast and you found a new one too. I found two two new ones I found two okay okay one I don't know if anyone watches it that subscribes to us but one that I found is the Cozy Moth Knits. She's from Delaware. <laughs> that's right. And it's like, yeah, that's right. We never heard about her or anything. And I was yeah, like, she just found her recently. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I caught up on all of hers. And Delaware she, is a small state. Yeah, it's, it's a, so small. Like, yeah, okay, but she so. actually is not. She doesn't. I mean, it's a small okay, state. So you can't even say they don't live far from <laughs> us if we live in Delaware. Yes, you can. Not it's, really. It's no. far for Delaware. <laughs> It's not, it's, far. Not, it's not like far for Texas. It's a far for Delaware. <laughs> so when, if you live in Delaware and you've got to drive somewhere that's like 45, hour, 45 minutes away, you're like, oh man, it's 45 minutes away. <laughs> but I've heard people from like Texas say 45 minutes, like you do that in the same city. So 45 minutes is far for Delaware. <laughs> but um, 
Because it's so small, you know? It's so small. Okay, uh-huh. like, if you lived up in, like, the North City area, of you Delaware. wanted to go down to, like... The beach. The beach. Or Which even if you Delaware. wanted to go all the way down to, like... The beach? Not even just the beach. Like, if you wanted to go down to Maryland. Oh, Salisbury, If Maryland. you just yeah. go straight down to Maryland, you'll take be there. Take you two hours. Eight, not even, probably. No, it would take two hours. I don't know. Not on one. If, if you, you go on one, you no drive, one be... If you drive responsibly, it would take you about two hours. <laughs> okay, it would not take me two hours. <laughs> you better be driving responsibly with those kids in the car. I do. I'm careful. It's Actually, okay. my husband's probably. He would probably shake his head and say, no, it doesn't take two hours. But anyway, it depends hours. on traffic. It does not take two hours. If it's okay. in the middle of summer. Okay, yes. That's besides the point. Anyway, middle of summer, when all the forests are coming to our totally beaches. We totally got off a topic. It yeah. would take you forever. The but anyway. Cozy Moth. Yes. She lives in Delaware, too. Yes. And Daphne. I don't know if anyone I haven't watched her yet, her. but Daphne has enjoyed watching her <laughs> episodes. Okay. And what's the other She one? has a very oh. neutral color palette, and I think that's why. Yeah. I really like her colors. Mm-hmm. So, the other one is Sweet Pea and Chickadee, and oh, they're yeah. in Virginia. I don't know... I don't know if it's just Virginia or... And that's a mom-daughter, right? Yes, it's a mom and a daughter, but... They're funny because... The daughter like, doesn't knit, right? The daughter doesn't knit, mm-hmm. but they're so funny to watch, and I don't even know why. Like, <laughs> So she found two that she's enjoyed, and I, and I actually... Um, did I? I was thinking. I found another one, but I'm not finished watching it yet, so I'm going to reserve the right to not say anything about it yet. <laughs> anyway, so Sweet Pea and Chickadee, though, it is a mother and daughter. And the mom, she knits, like, really bright colors to me. So, it would like, probably be right up my alley. I don't know. Like, uh-huh. generally, I'm not drawn to... Well, she has a sunset highway that's, like, similar in colors to mine, but brighter. Yeah, mm-hmm. like... Because, I mean, yeah. like, I hers is, like, purple, but, like, the orchid purple is, like, the main color, mm-hmm. like, the main color work color. And then there's a the green... And then there is, so I mean, the green would be where your purple is, and then mm-hmm. the speckly yarn is like her body. So, like, she does really bright stuff. But then, like, her daughter is like 15 or something like that. Oh, really? And she's, just, they even say in the beginning of their first episode, they're like, she's just here for comedic and entertainment purposes only, basically, <laughs> and to hold the mom stuff. Uh huh. Well, that's fun. That's still, it's funny, that's, though. like, that's. I think that's great that I she's willing great. to sit there with her while her mom talks about her they knitting. Look like, like they how have awesome fun. is that? Yeah, I so, think that's great. I don't know. So you know, check I like them. <laughs> so that's Mia knit all the yarns, sweet pea and chickadee, and the cozy moth. Yes. Cozy okay. Moth so we'll put them across the screen and down below. All right. Well, the time is kind of oh, long. No. Yeah, we've got a long one today. Well, I mean, you know, long for us. Well, we can't have it too long. <laughs> no. Until we have. We have trouble with storage issues, yeah. So, all right. So, if you made it this far, (laughs) we're glad that you stuck around. And um, we will see you, well, we'll see you before two weeks. Because we'll have the March extra. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. It didn't work. (laughs)